All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the station parts pack, which is being made by form user Silent Velcro. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new series of parts for, of course, building space stations. And who doesn't love that? Especially considering the fact that this is a part of the ever-growing family of lonesome robots aerospace mods, which you gotta a love because frankly every one of them so far has been of great quality and this one is no exception so let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a gander at what all this does add into the game so let's grab ourselves a mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison sake and then turn on our filter leaving just a lonesome robots and we'll start of course by looking at the station l1 probe core which is quite a lovely little part there it will be, of course, the heart of any station, pretty much, that you build with this pack. And overall, very nicely modeled, very nicely textured. And as for its stats, it is, of course, an unmanned command pod with a built-in data transmitter, reaction wheel, SAS, and a thousand electric charge. Now, of course, my personal favorite part of it, since I'm a sucker for any animations, is, well, we can extend the antenna. And it amuses me that it just kind of flips out like that. Now, I also should point out, because, well, you can obviously tell right here that we have a very reflective texture, and I know that in the past, when we've looked at other Lonesome Robots aerospace mods, some of you guys in the comments have complained about frame drops when you do use these so be fairly warned here that um yeah there's a lot of these textures in this particular mod pack now personally i've never had the frame rate issues with these reflective textures but if you do uh, definitely keep that in mind uh, now besides that though we also do have a fun light which sits inside this little uh, gantry area here which we can turn on and off a very lovely part and i should point out the l1 aspect of this and that basically designates the sort of shape of this thing and the L1 shape which goes along with of course other L1 parts in this mod refers to parts that have this somewhat uh, diamond like a uh, size and shape to them and uh, so that is the L1 the L2 3 and 4 they're all more rectangular but then of, of varying sizes which of course we'll see here in a moment because of course the next parts we will find well won't be any of these tabs they'll be here in structural where we do see a lot of these like l1 to l3 l1 truss l3 truss etc so let us have a look at those i'm actually gonna flip this over so we can have this attachment point over here to work from and we'll just take a look first at the l1 to l3 truss adapter which of course fits nicely onto this l3 command pod changing it to the rectangular shape of the l3 trusses now we also then have an L1 truss that is just in that diamond shape, though interestingly, it is actually more rectangular. You can see that diamond shape there, but at the same time, it sort of goes out and we have those uh, side panels, which of course do have attachment points. So you can go off of four different sides with this one particular piece, which is always good. Now the next part we have is the L2 truss, which is rectangular and in fact fits snugly right there up against that one and as you can see is just a large truss section we then have the l3 trusses which is similar to the uh, l2 but of course just smaller in size there we go and then the l4 truss which is sort of the same just you know rectangular but smaller and then we have another adapter that goes from the l3 to the l1 which will place what the heck under here there we are it fit and uh yeah so just a nice little selection of different trusses for you to build different structural bits of the ship with so let's actually chuck these off and then take a look at of course the structural access tunnel, which is just a nice big structural piece, which, you know, also technically acts as an access tunnel, at least 
in your imagination. As for the game though, it literally just functions as a nice big structural chunk, which is always good to have. And then we also have this station radial structural attachment point, so if you ever do have a part where you'd like to build off from, say right here, there we go. We now have a nice little hatch there and an attachment point that we can then build off from with the station. Always good to have. And then the last part here in this category is the station exposed facility. Now this is actually meant to specifically work with the station science module, which of course we'll look at in the science category. And its point is to connect to the science module via this tube right here and provide exposure to space for science experiments, which you know, is cool, though it is purely aesthetic, of course, and does actually have quite a few different attachment points, as you can see there, four in total, but overall a very nice piece. Now let's actually dump all these off and then head into coupling, which is where we will find the station berthing mechanism, which is your primary way of, you know, building your space station. You just attach these onto all the different modules uh, so that they can dock together and it holds quite well. It has a pretty good strong hold there for, you know, making sure your station doesn't fall apart. So basically it is just a docking port, but you know, specifically for building stuff, which is always good. Now then we have nothing in payload, aerodynamics, ground, thermal, but electrical, we do have a nice big station solar panel, which if we pop right there and then extend, is just, ah, beautiful. I always love a good gigantic solar panel, and this one's got a lot of good detailing to it, which I always do enjoy, and overall it will produce quite a bit of electricity at uh, 18 per second, of course depending on exposure to the sun and it does of course also track and folds into a nice neat package always good to have now we have nothing in communications but in science we do have of course that science lab that i was talking about earlier so let's actually pop that on here real quick and just quickly go back to structural to grab that and you'll notice that there is an attachment point right there. So we have the sort of main central attachment point here where you would attach it to the rest of the station and then there's this attachment point here specifically for this weird science exposure to space thing. So there you go, it fits right there quite nicely and fun fact about this science lab besides it being a functional science lab as far as the game's concerned it also is the first of the parts that we're looking at here with an internal view there are four parts that have internal views this being one of them as well as of course 500 electric charge which is always good to have and other than that is just a nice shiny science lab and i quite like actually the uh, different stripe that it has along here it's really the only one of of the different modules that we have that has this stripe. So it's it's quite unique and cool. The rest are just, you know, shiny textures. But let's uh, move along. We'll chuck this off and head down to where the rest of the parts live in utility. Now, the first one we have here is the station airlock, which is, you know, just a nice big airlock that we can actually open right there. So we can pop that open and close for getting a Kerbal out from that hatch. And then this bit up here is the perfect location for of course having a docking port and we also do have lights right there at the bottom for the airlocks to make it you know easier for your Kerbals. Always a good thing to have. On that very cool little thing, gotta enjoy it. Always good to have a fun airlock. Now the next part is another interesting one. This is the station al alternate propellant storage module, which we just, just chuck on there, is a very big shiny container, which holds liquid fuel, monopropellant, and oxidizer. And this is because, well, it's here, rather, because I don't have TAC life support installed. This mod is fully compatible with TAC life support, and if you did have that installed, 
this would actually be renamed Station Waste Container Module and would be used for waste storage. But since I don't have TAC Life Support installed, it instead is this and, you know, stores fuel instead, which I think is quite cool. So if you do have TAC Life Support, it is fully compatible and you'll have a, a different part, which is good to know. Now the next is uh, the second of our four different internal views and that is our cool little cupola module here it does have a very beautiful internal view and we can of course open it up so you can you know see out into the world which is a pretty sweet and uh yeah overall it's just a nice little one crew capacity thing very fun now the next is a small little station light not exactly the largest thing in the world and doesn't produce a huge amount of light but it will sort of project outwards a bit and is perfect for helping to illuminate hatches or other important things on your station. Just a, just a nice little useful light. Now the next is the Station Living Quarters Module A and this is the third internal view module that we have as well it's living quarters so you need to put some Kerbals in there and in fact it will hold two Kerbals. It will have the standard crew report and also holds 400 electric charge and overall it's just quite cool looking i love all the great hand holds very very nice now the next part is the last of the four different internal views and that is the station living quarters module type rb and this haha <laughs> boy it's got a lot of things it not only has an internal view but of course holds two kerbals it is a resource converter where it will change a liquid fuel and ox oxidizer into electric charge also does have crew report 400 electric charge and also four lovely little uh, offshoots that you can build from which is always nice to have and uh, overall just another good part now the next thing we have is the station pressurized mating adapter which we can of course just pop onto this right there to you know adapt into other things and apparently goes quite well with the Hoyo CSM Lonesome Robot Aerospace mod according to the mod page which I mean is always good to know and then the final thing we have is the station oh let's actually chuck this off because this is kind of a large part the station propellants and resource module which is just a gigantic resource tank holding 600 electric charge 1440 liquid fuel 450 mono propellant and 1000 1760 oxidizer it's just a big giant tank thing and uh, perfect for holding all your various resources which is always good to have but yes that is all of the different parts for this station parts pack so let's actually head outside to the launch pad where I have the four different internal view uh, parts ready to go so we can actually take a look at those in a controlled environment and then we'll take a uh, quick gander at a space station I built earlier earlier using these parts so uh, we'll start up in the science lab if we go to view in there and there we are our lovely science lab here with uh, all sorts of fun uh, things now this mod does actually come pre-packaged with assets as well as texture replacer module manager and raster prop monitor thus all the really cool things in here but uh, yeah just some nice internal views let's go to another Kerbal in here just uh, you know a nice little nice little science laboratory for you now we are in one of the two living modules which uh, oh this is the RB you can tell of course because we have those four other uh, offshoots for the station and we have of course two seats in there and now we're in just the standard living module which is the same interior it just doesn't have those other four modules that we can or the other four hatches rather that we can see there we go and then finally the cupola module which I completely forgot to open so let's uh, actually I mean as you could tell we could still see through that but you know still it's nice to have it properly opened so we can then oh God, we gotta go all the way over there we go now view through it without weird texture glitches <laughs> yes just a nice fun little internal view though there are as you can see some raster prop monitors right outside of our view distance 
which kind of bothers me. I wish I could see them, but oh well, they're just over on one side or the other. But overall, we have a lovely Koopa, and who doesn't love that? And uh, let's actually take a look, of course, at all of them. Open up with the interior overlay, and uh, yeah, some beautiful views. I do really enjoy all those interiors. A very, very great addition. So let's actually head to the tracking station and jump up to my space station that I popped up earlier, just named simply Station. <laughs> and yes, I'm always original with my naming conventions. But there we go, just a fun little simple station. Nothing too complicated or anything, but uh, I just wanted to throw something together really quickly so you could get, a, get an idea of what kind of things you could potentially create with this entire parts pack at your disposal. And there is a lot you could do considering all the fun parts if I could actually move my darn camera there we go kind of moved where I wanted it oh boy my camera's not cooperating today there we are perfect ah geez but yes a lovely space station with all the parts that are necessary for you to build some pretty cool stuff and some great interiors great trusses good solar panels all in all a good kit of space station parts that of course goes well with all of the other lonesome robots aerospace parts packs for you to enjoy and build even bigger and cooler things with so if you would like to check this mod out for yourself and i would definitely recommend that you go and do you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual but that is gonna be it for today my friends i hope you all have enjoyed this video and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful parts pack but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one